And we're back here on Sportsline tonight. Phone lines are still open at 737-7767. Just talked about the Titans, their huge opportunity this weekend going to San Diego. Don't forget, you can watch that game, 325 Sunday afternoon over on News Channel 5. Opportunity for the Titans to get above 500 in the second half of the season for the first time in quite some time. Huge opportunity there. Huge news yesterday with Andre Johnson retiring 14 years into his NFL career, he's ninth all-time in catches, 10th all-time in receiving yards. Such a great guy for the wisdom in a young receiving room for the Titans, even in just a half a season. Made the game-winning catch in Week 2 in Detroit at the end of the game with that great comeback win. Titans are going to remember that for a long time, as well as all the catches he made against them for so many years with the Texans. Just said his heart wasn't in it anymore. It was time to hang him up. Titans have to move on. They promoted Trey McBride to the active roster today. So he will be on the 53 with a chance to suit up. And what he does is give you not just a guy who can step in a wide receiver role, but also somebody who last year played a key role on special teams. So perhaps he can provide that as well this year for the Titans. Mike Malarkey addressing the media yesterday after kind of a bonus day with the mini bye weekend coming off of the Thursday game. Titans had a bonus practice yesterday before they hit the practice fields again tomorrow at St. Thomas Sportsburg. Mike Malarkey talking with the media after that practice about Andre Johnson and where his team stands right here at the midway point. Andre Johnson retirement, is that something that, was, that you were aware of a few days ago or is it something that came out of the blue? No, he, uh, he reached out to me last night, asked if he could come in this morning. I, that was one of the uh, thoughts that I, I had, you know, I had a number of them. And, and um, you know, it's the unfortunate part of it, it was. That's what he, he felt. He's, he said he's been contemplating it for weeks. And, um, you know, his, his heart was not in it. And that's hard. There's a, t there's a tough business to be in. And your heart's not in it. He wasn't here for very long, but what is no, it? he's uh, he meant a lot. I don't know if he knows what the impact he's had on our on our room, our wide receiver room. Just how how you go to work every day. Um, I, I'm hoping they took a lot of what he's all about in that room because he is uh, uh, he's about as much of a pro as I've ever been around. And a great man, great man before any kind of player. He's he just said. I'm fortunate I got a chance, even though short, and, um, to be around him. Is that a situation that if you're there, you, you can't talk somebody out of it? I mean, is that, is that kind of how you deal with this uh, no, I, situation? I try. I mean, I do because I want to make sure that there's no um, regrets when he when he walks out. And, and uh, but I, it, you know, I can I could tell it, it was he had, he had talked about it, and, and um, you know, I, I, and then it was. Really useless for what I was saying. He talked to the guys this morning. I did. Did he? Oh, I, I, I'm not aware if he did or not. What did he tell him? The same thing I just said to you guys. I said the same thing about him. It's the type of man he was. Um, just reach out to him. I'm sure he's got some mixed emotions right now, but uh, you know, just won't hopefully uh, cross paths again somewhere down the road. Uh, how to go to work, how to come to work, how to study, how to work out here. Um, I mean, all you do is watch the guy, watch the success he's had over his career. And uh, he doesn't say a whole lot. He's very quiet and uh, speaks volumes with his actions. And uh, hopefully they got something from him. They'd be foolish not to follow a guy like that. The last How's his level of play, I guess, uh, for you? I mean, you're still getting it. Obviously yeah, it, I mean, it's... You're still getting it done? Yeah, again, um, you know, lack of catches doesn't mean lack of production. He, you know, he probably got, there's more uh, with the rotation. Rashard was getting more plays. Rashard was making more um, the last few weeks. He's made, he's made some big plays for us. And so the rotation was a little bit more heavy at him. But, uh, but uh, no, it, he's still productive, still was in the rotation that we planned on moving forward with. The advantage that uh, you know, you've had Harry as a healthy scratch the last few weeks, that, and what, how quickly can you go about filling the roster spot? Uh, well, we don't have to do it today. We're, we're going to do some. We've got uh, we've got a workout tomorrow with some other player. We have week workouts every Tuesday. Um, we'll we'll make a decision at some point this week, but we haven't made it yet today. Would that guy now ideally be a special team? <coughs> it could be. Uh, that's part of the conversation. It definitely could be. Um, you know, Trey would be part of the conversation. 
who brings special teams value. How was the weekend as far as uh, guys getting away? You get I think it was good. Uh, I think, you know, it was good for everybody, coaches included. It's just, you know, amazing what one day will do for you, catching, catching your breath. And uh, yeah, I think it was good for everybody. Based on the way they practiced today, they had a good weekend. Particularly helpful considering because it's still another month to your buy? Yes, very helpful. It's been a, it's been a grind. Um, you think about it, all these teams. I mean, I know there's still some that haven't had theirs, but... Um, you know, that, that little, little of time off makes a big difference to these guys, to their bodies, uh, to the coaches and the rest that they need. You know, they've been going pretty hard since July. So it came at a good time. You guys got together and watching Chargers on Sunday? Uh, we were working uh, last night. So, you know, we were on our own, had the, had the game on, but we were working at the same time. How far ahead are you, are, are you of a typical week in terms of playing? Uh, a little bit. You know, we've, all of us, I know I looked, I, I watched them a, a ton uh, all day yesterday. So, I mean, do we have anything on our board? No, but we have a lot of ideas, more than we would have. We wouldn't even start till today, till, till I get done with you guys. So, we're ahead. In terms of that, in terms of that and not, you know, not having a game on Sunday, how much, if at all, did that influence your decision to head to San Diego on Friday night rather than Saturday? Uh, that had really nothing. Just want to get out there, get acclimated to the time. Um, I've done it both ways, won and lost both ways. Uh, I just, I, I think it's good for us to, it's a change, just a little bit of a change up than coming out, doing the same routine here. I, I just want to get a little bit of a change. That's, that's I think, important. No, it's not been the same team by any means. It dates back a while, but what, it's the six games that you guys haven't won out there, including the, the franchise hasn't won out there, including it. You buy that there's anything there, or once the personnel changes, the coaching staff changes. Yeah, it's all different. It's all different. It's irrelevant. Again, uh, a lot of changes going on this year in 2016. So um, I'd like to make another change. With the extra couple of days off, do you do any self scouting? Yes. Yes. What did you learn? Nothing to make public, you know, but I know us a lot better. You know, I, I know what our opponents see. Um, more. More, uh, you know, on paper than than film, but the paper says a lot about some of the things we're doing. But not drastic. I, I was I was actually a bit surprised how balanced, especially, especially offensively, we were. Rivers is one of the better veteran quarterbacks in the league. Lost three picks this weekend. What are the keys to you know, having that trend continue on Sunday? Well, we got to put pressure on them, and uh, we got to do good good job of covering these guys. It's, again, it's another group. Um, I think it's very potent, very potent offense. Um, we got to just we got to play again with consistency. Go to the next next game and play again very well and put pressure on them like we did uh, against Jacksonville this past Thursday. Have a couple extra days help you from a health standpoint as well. I mean, certainly it doesn't hurt. Yeah, we could we could we could use it and we did. And uh, guys came in for treatment um, all weekend and I think you know again we'll see where we're at when we come to Wednesday. We gave some guys some time off today. The level of enthusiasm in the room, um, just on track field as well, do you sense it being a lot better than, say, years past where you, you entered the third quarter of the season and really didn't necessarily have hope the way you do this year? No, I think these guys understand where we're at and um, really, you know, we have to control what we have to control. We can't worry about other games on Sundays. We have to win our games and win the next one, and that's all we're worried about. But there's definitely uh, much more energy you know, and, and again, that's it doesn't surprise me. But you know, I don't have to. I don't have to do a lot for these guys to come out here and work like they did today. And it was I, I made it. I made it a hard practice after three days off, and uh, I didn't have to say a word about their their effort or uh, or how to practice today. It was very well executed. That's how self scout stuff trickle down to players at all. Or is that strictly you? No, it doesn't trickle down. I, it's it's really irrelevant to them. It's nothing that, that will give them an advantage or not, or give them any concerns. It's just us. The game and, and goes into the game plan. Yes. If you do go back and look at a guy like Trey McBride, do you think he's kind of hungry to get back into? Game oh, he, Trey. Trey is very hungry. Trey, um, you know, works about as hard as anybody on our team every day. Uh, he has to simulate the the other team's leading receiver, and he gives us a great look. And uh, and then even today, just it was more of our offense than than uh, the Chargers. He did. He had a good practice today, running our stuff. So. Uh, I'd have no problem if Trey had to, if, if he is who we decide to bring up. And you, you talked about 
touched on this, I guess, on Friday, but you, you like the direction, even with Andre out of the equation now. It seems like you like the direction of Shar's been going, Kendall's been going. I think we've gotten, I think we've, We've made more plays. You know, we've been more consistent. We've been running our routes better. There's a lot of things good going on in that room, and give those guys credit. I mean, it's helped. Is Trey equally good or depth at inside out? Does he know both or all three? He knows. Uh, he knows all. So that's an advantage he has. Um, very versatile. And again, he, his special teams play will play a factor as well. Is he more suited uh, to be? In the, uh, are he or Harry more suited to be in the slot? No, I think uh, I don't see one having an advantage over the other. No. Yeah. Okay.